Good morning, everyone. I'm uh, out here in the woods today uh, planting some ginseng seeds and also uh, uh, looking for some ginseng. Uh, come up on this place um, that's got some really super nice blood root. So I'm digging that. Uh, you can see another one right there. Another one right there. You can tell that uh, it's uh, the roots are big on this uh, blood root uh, because the leaves are really big. Uh, up here's some more, probably like uh, three stems growing out of the same uh, root. Uh, this is a, a bank right next to a railroad track and the dirt is really really soft in here be a really good place for ginseng um, as you can see uh, bloodroot is a plant that uh, grows uh, oftentimes in the neighborhood of ginseng i'm going to walk over here and i'm going to show you some black coash which uh, also is a plant that grows often in the vicinity of ginseng. You gotta make my way here through the brush. Um, one thing about hunting ginseng and uh, various medicinal plants is you're gonna have to go through some brush and some uh, weeds. Here is uh, black coash, which is a good uh, indicator that ginseng plants are in the area. There's no guarantee that if you find black coash or if you find bloodroot that you're going to find ginseng, but you very well may. Once again, uh, it's a uh, nice day today. It's actually the last day of September, or the last day of August, and I'm out here doing a preseason scout for ginseng. The season comes in actually tomorrow. There's another bloodroot. There's some more black coash, more bloodroot right there, and then there's some big ones right up there. So, I'm also planting some ginseng seed. I'm going to plant some right along this bank here because this is a real good place. I want to dig some of this bloodroot, but I'm not going to dig all of it. Leave some for next year and leave some to show me where it's at and where I planted the ginseng seeds. Hopefully a few years from now I'll come back if I'm still alive. And uh, there'll be some ginseng growing in here. It should grow really really nicely in here because the dirt is fertile uh, as you can see from the uh, uh, co-wash and also as you can see from the large uh, bloodroot plants so if you get some ginseng growing in here it's going to grow um, nicely there's going to be some big roots um, ran into a nest of yellow jackets here a little bit ago. I saw some black coash uh, growing and I stopped and uh, I think there was some blood root there too. I was going to pick it and I got stung uh, like three times. I was lucky I only got stung three times and uh, kind of ticked me off a little bit because I lost my hiking stick but I can cut me another one or, or pick one up here someplace but anyway uh, that's so much for this video once again black coash it's what they call a good weed if you see this it's very likely you may find ginseng in the area no guarantee but you might and once again blood root you can sell the roots on that not as it worth as much as ginseng but they're worth digging so anyway, I'm going to cut this uh, little uh, video off now, and I'm going to post it on YouTube later on tonight. may do another video to today if I 
run into some ginseng. Um, I know where some's at, so I may run by there and take a few pictures of the ginseng with the ripe berries and so forth. But anyway, I hope you folks have a nice day and happy hunting for bloodroot, black coash, and ginseng, and all the medicinal plants. Anyway, we'll catch you later, and if you like my videos, uh, please subscribe. I certainly would appreciate it. Thanks.